Hey, welcome back. So this is the basic steps to building a comic book crowdfunding project. Second step would be setting up your rewards. You need to know what you're going to offer, how much are they going to cost, and what's the delivery like. Are they digital or do you have to ship them? So I'm going to break down. I like to have between six and 12 rewards. So I'm going to just, like I said, this is basics. We're not going to go into a huge detail. But, of course, your first reward would be the donation reward. That can be anywhere from a dollar to, I think I got $50 one time. Uh, your second reward would be your digital comic. Um, I like to make this about $4, um, 3 to $4. It costs you nothing to send out an email with a link to the PDF. Um, and it's a great thing that you can add to following rewards. So a digital release. Is definite um, maybe later I'll make a video on how to build a digital PDF and sort of help out over at um, sketchmagazine.net um, let's see second one of course is the comic I believe um, 24 to 32 page comic I personally like to keep them about nine dollars um, you know that that old uh, 99 cent fix you know four and nine is cheaper than five when it's really five but that nine dollars feels better than ten dollars and more likely, you're going to get people who come on who don't know you, but they want a physical copy. Uh, they might want to get it signed. I always do signatures free. So I try to keep that about $9. So that's my third reward. I also give away a copy of the digital book along with it. There again, it costs us nothing. And now you're giving them two things for the $9. The third can be either way. I like to do prints. Um, I have, I like to keep them about six by nine, six by 10, because they're the same size as a comic. And honestly, it's to make the shipping easier. Uh, I seen somebody the other day post something, how 11 by 17 prints are a pain to ship fulfilling Kickstarter project. I'm like, yeah, I agree. So I like to keep it the size of a comic. It fits within the mailer real nice. It keeps everything supported. They don't get damaged. Um, you can get, you can get. Four to five hours for a nice print. Here again, they're gonna probably you're gonna want to sign them. Um, so that's about that fifteen dollar range. Um, so yeah, fifteen dollars, fourteen, fifteen dollars, and then I like to do. I love variant covers, so I like to do variant covers. So a variant cover would be you know a different cover. The printer usually doesn't cost too much for changing it out, especially if you're doing print on demand, which most of us are at this point. So it's just swapping out a different cover. And I usually make these limited editions. In other words, I'm only going to print 25, 50, 100. If you have a huge following, 200, 250 copies, that's it. So what I do is these are usually somewhere between the 15 and 19 hour range. Um, so, you know, they're limited. I, I usually try to keep them between 25 and 100 copies. So you've got the digital, you've got the comic, you got the comic print. Now you have a very limited edition variant cover. If possible, depending on how your book is produced, a sketch is a sketch copy of your book is nice. So that could also fall in as a second book. It's black and white. It's cheaper to print. And it could fall in as an, an add-on or it could be another tier. Um, if you combine combine the original printing along with the sketch printing, um, then you can make it a 20 to $25 range in there. So all these you need to verify your cost. You need to verify how much it's going to cost to ship. Remember, you're going to have a mailer. I will try to find a link to the company that we buy our mailer from. They're flat. They fold up real nice, tape up. They're really secure. So I will try to put a link down below on the mailers that we use. Try to keep everything nice and neat. So that is basically five six rewards you can combine them a different way if you if this is if you have published other books you can put other books along the in your universe and what you've done along with this book to start adding up the total i think on uh, on one of my projects i had 12 other books that i've published 
So I did a digital collection there again. That's one of the most profitable ways because it doesn't cost me to ship anything. And then I did a print selection. I think it was up around, I want to say 80, $90 for the whole bundle. So we did the whole bundle. So yeah, you can look at different ways to bundle past projects with this project to get people on board. Now this is an issue two or three. Of course, you're going to want to do a whole series bundle. So work the cost up, shipping costs, getting in and out, and then try to recoup. The good thing is by selling these bundles and stuff that you already got printed or sitting here, you don't have any other production costs in it. You're just looking to improve that one comic. So it just adds to it. So get out there, be successful, and come back for the next basic step. Remember, comic book crowdfunding news can help get you in front of thousands of possible supporters on a daily basis. We only have 15 spots available each day. So go to comicbookcrowdfundingnews.com, go to reservations, hit the calendar, see what's available, get in there, and we will try to do our best to get you seen and help you promote your project. Take care. Bye.